For cheap, safe, and reliable coin service, head on over to FeebleCoinZone.com and make sure to use Dirty at checkout. Get you that good extra discount on weight. Do you need games? Do you need codes? G2A has the total hookup. Dirty will also get you that extra discount. What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike, and as you can see, I'm not in my office. I'm here with my main man, Ovi, and we're going to be talking about FIFA 17. We both had the opportunity to play the title. And let's jump right into it. We're going to answer questions we got on Twitter. And we're going to cover some of the basics. We got the gameplay, game modes, and graphics. graphics. The three Gs. Before we get into this, if you want to see more, Mike and Obi, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Yep. And I apologize for the live stream. Obviously, I've been out of town. I'll be back on Thursday. If you have any questions, Obi and I will get back to everyone in the comments down below. We're going to start with a bit of a Q&A uh, around FIFA 17. Obi, what's the first question looking like? What's the most effective skill move and scoring crossbody or near post, high or low shots? 100% across the body is going to be overpowered this year. I feel as if EA, every year, it's either near post or across the body. Near post and they almost go back yeah, and forth. Yeah, first thing I did when I started playing the FIFA 17 was like, I tried the near post, finesse, overpower finish, didn't work at all. What did work was the cross the body, the low shot, that's what worked for me best. I expect to see a lot of low across the body finishes. Best formation, any defense tips? What about handicap and the five best skills? Uh, so I'd like to start with formations because the 4 triple 2 uh, we both agree that it looks with these game mechanics that it's going to have value, which makes me happy. I think it's difficult to say which formations will be the best. When you're looking at top five skill moves, it's still kind of early, but the body feint is improved. If you were a big fan of the body feint. It depends, it depends. Now you know it was a bit nerfed if you went to the left side of the player in FIFA 16, but you still had an overpowered way to do the body fan. Yeah, the reverse body fan. Yeah, you know. In uh, in 17, I think like it's a bit slower, even though it works to the light, to the left and to the right of the player. But it's early to say if it will be as good as it was in 15, like two years ago. I don't think it'll. Be, I don't think we'll ever see the body faint at that level. Just my opinion. That was. Oh, don't even get me started. Also, the, the scoop, the scoop turn is back in my opinion. Very, very effective skill. And with skilling this year. Uh, they're, they're crisp. I'm gonna use the word, they're crisp. If you get by somebody, you should be able to scoot and boot and get an opportunity. So if you want to be fancy, you want to add a little bit of some variation into your gameplay, then this might be a better title for you. And they've done a good job with balance from first impressions with the title. Would you agree? So it's not just Mike talking? Yeah, of course, of course. What type of players do you think will be the best in the game? I've really enjoyed using players that have good physical stats and of course you have some skill with that so your first touch is going to be important but I think we're going to see more physicality especially with the new shielding. You know this year a tall guy, a strong guy with 5 star skill moves <laughs> could be the best player in the game but what I love about 17 is the balance you know you can use the fast players and you can still use the not so fast players, the massive, the physical one. That's how it should be, where you can choose any player, maybe your favorite players, and be able to utilize them to the best of their ability and, and match what happens in real life. We're gonna see, it's still early. I know that you can burst by somebody and not be caught as well, which we didn't see much last year. If you beat somebody, you always had a chance for one more tackle, one more pull of the shirt, uh, a wild slide. Speaking of slides, what do you think? To be honest, uh, I didn't pay a lot of attention to the defending. I was so, so enthusiastic about the attacking, the new attacking in uh, FIFA 17 that I, I would not like to say something that I haven't tested a lot. Whew, so moving on in the segment. And if you guys do have any questions, feel free to tweet us. We're gonna do more uh, for videos. We didn't take every question. We thought these were some of the better ones in terms of what people would want to know. And we still have the comments, but let's talk about the three Gs a little bit with the gameplay, the graphics, and the game modes. And I think we should start with game modes because EA has added <sighs> so many game modes. I can't believe it. With FUT Champions, you're gonna see new competitive players. Yeah, it's gonna uh, be crazy. This will be the year that people invest heavily in gameplay, even YouTubers, which is something we don't see that often uh, with FUT Champions. Uh, I'm excited because it's big for esports. We've never seen EA really back. It was about time. It yeah. was about time for EA to do something. We've, we've seen Riot, we've seen so many big companies invest in Dota and League of Legends. EA had to do the move. You should know, it's $1.3 million as a prize purse for food champions. I was mentioning still in game modes, we have the journey, which is big. Uh, if you enjoy that type of feel when you're playing a game, you wanna be offline. I, I'm gonna do a series, I think, with this. 
because I really like NBA 2K and this is kind of where they stole that idea. They borrowed that idea. The last thing with game modes is going to be pro clubs, which they have made some minor changes. I don't think we're going to have a complete turnaround in pro clubs. Some people are getting really amped up. They're getting excited. I don't think you're going to see all that, but they did switch some menus around. I'm sure we'll have a couple new features. I'm fine with that. And head-to-head, -head, unfortunately, is going to be taking uh, a path in the wrong direction. Anything I miss for game modes? Mm -hmm. Graphics, short but sweet. They look better. They look good. The cutscenes are on point. Even the gameplay, it does look better than Pez. We've both played Pez as well when you're moving the ball around uh, on the pitch. I'm not talking about anything with cutscenes, just the regular... Uh, intangibles with the gameplay Guys, without any question 17 FIFA 17 looks incredible from a point of view the graphic point of view it looks I'm fucking believable this is one of those areas every year if you don't improve you did something wrong if you're creating a game title if you're a developer and you don't improve your graphics you got to fire that part of the team ah we've got gameplay uh, we saved the best for last there's not that much for us to go into depth here I enjoyed uh, the experience. I can't wait to play a lot more FIFA. I can't wait for the demo. That's the only thing that matters. If you enjoy it, yes, yeah. that's what you should feel when you play a game. You play to enjoy the game, to relax. Something that's very important for a lot of you guys to watch my content, probably Ovi's as well, is I did notice a skill gap when playing FIFA 17, especially in comparison to FIFA 16. We both think right. that last year's installment was the worst for enjoyment with competitive play. This year is going to be better than that, there's no doubt. And I'm hoping that we kind of get a throwback Thursday, the 2012 days, 2008, oh, 2006. That's, that, that's the feeling I had when I first played the, the game. The FIFA 12 feeling, which is a great feeling because that was my favorite game. And we touched on it earlier, but balance is the key to me. If I want to play through the wings and I'm good at it, I should be good at the game. If I want to play through the middle, I should be good at the game if I'm really skilled in that area. If I want big players or small players... You get the idea. I like to have balance when you're playing a new title uh, because it allows you to find out different things in the game. It just makes so much better longevity. You have no idea because you're always trying out new players. EA, I will be picking up your title. Oh, we'll be picking up your title. Don't mess it up. Please don't do the patches. Yeah. No patches. No, patches. no, no patches. patches. Of course, if you have a big problem with the game, okay, patch it. But no, so many patches last year. Each two, three weeks game felt different. That's so annoying. It ruins it if you're a gameplay guy. It really does. Uh, but we're going to leave off there. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Head on over to Obi's channel. Uh, we're going to have a couple more uploads, I think, flying up this week. But uh, I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP. ASAP, you got any wise words? What's your quote? Hit him with the quote. Ah, uh, I don't do that anymore. Anyways, uh, I'll be back in town on Thursday. Remember that. Peace.